Iceland has been in my heart for 10 years. I spent quite a lot of time here and when I go out and explore, ah, it's inspired me so much. Morning. Iceland is a destination of extreme elements. Uh, there's almost no days without wind and it affects uh, significantly the, the snow conditions. You cannot be very picky, you just have to take what you get. Super great. It looks a lot of climbing, but even if it's no climbing, it's totally worth to come here. By having the car, it gives you an access to different areas, a terrain that is less explored. The Jeep becomes your safety base if uh, something goes wrong. And you just go and have fun, you, you trigger this playful mode. Quite steep terrain. Snow is very soft, doesn't really float on it, so you're using power for this. So. Be alone with, uh, with yourself and your friends and, and outside nature. Uh, you can hardly meet anyone. Uh, you get a feeling of total remoteness. Being in the mountains isn't comfortable, but that is what I love. Happy we are here. This is awesome. And now I just want to go. I grew up eating lamb, so every time I would go to the mountains, uh, there was always lamb to be barbecued. I think we just closed the main roads, so there is no way for us to get to the north. It's awesome for skiing, but. We can't get anywhere where the skiing is. Oh, we made it to Thuva! My favorite place in this whole wild world. My family's mountain earth, which my grandfather built. The friendship with Rosle and Alice was formed by a passing friend. I thought that gap could not be filled, but he connected me with Slovenia and gave me a chance to form a relationship with them. It gives me a lot of value, like a life value. If you think you've seen everything, take a look at this. Sharing these adventures uh, with friends is one of life's greatest pleasure. It kind of feels like infinite circle of experiences. 